Online scammers are taking to Facebook with a promise of a grant from the federal government. It's a ploy that one Caldwell woman almost fell victim to until she realized something wasn't right. Anna Maynard has the story. Bess Potter thought she was chatting with a Facebook friend when the conversation took a turn. I got benefits from this program when I applied. Do you know how to apply? Before she knew it, she was instructed to reach out to Scott Rogers, supposedly an agent from the Department of Health and Human Services. I did click on that because I do, I do need glasses. I'm blind up close nearly. He started pressuring her to share personal information, address, phone number, even photos of herself. That's when she says she knew it wasn't legitimate and made sure to tell them. I think this is a scam, I told him. You don't need to be wary, okay? This program is very real. Potter blocked the two profiles and reported them to DHHS. The Better Business Bureau says this isn't the first time they've heard of this scam and says to ignore social media messages from accounts claiming to be government entities. What is the bad thing about is they absolutely go after the elderly because they figure that they can get to them. Potter hopes sharing her story will prevent someone else from falling into a scammer's trap. In Caldwell, Anna Maynard, News 3. A spokesperson from the Department of Health and Human